Before the world begins. Right, that was given up to the elect, all right? To have those things, to be predestinated, to be called, man. Go ahead, brother. It says, but now is manifest, but but is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior, Yahweh Mashiach. Uh-huh. Who have abolished death. Right here, abolished death for the elect. Go ahead. And have brought life and immortality to life through the gospel. So Yahweh Shah brought light and immortality to life through the gospel, man. So it is through the gospel that we will get everlasting life. So Yahweh Shah said, well, repent and believe the gospel, man. Believe these words. Because this, you, look, this is what you want to follow in these times, man. Trust me, dog. You, you want to be nowhere outside of this when all hell truly break loose, man. And look, they got ready to catch the hell, bro. You find about a damn stimulus check, crying about tissue and bread, man. Harder times are coming, all right? Harder times are coming, man. And you worried about that, dog? Man, the heavenly father's gonna open up on Babylon the Great, man. Because it's a terrible kingdom, man. Real quick, give me Revelation 17 to 5, brother. This Revelation 17 and 5, right? It says, 
Revelation 17 and 5, and upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great. Right now, for a time, it was a mystery to who was Babylon the Great. For a long time, man. But now we know who that is, man. Right. Without a shadow of a doubt, we know that America is that mystery of Babylon, man. Right. Go ahead, brother. Like yeah, yeah, have a cool. And that the vision is set for an appointed time, and at the end it shall speak and not lie. Now, when you go into Habakkuk 2, it's talking about Esau being revealed. Now, when Esau get revealed, that, that reveals also the kingdom that this man will be ruling over. You see, it's like Pharaoh ruled over Egypt, you know, uh, uh, Alexander the Great over Greece. Well, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man ruling over this last Edom rulership, Babylon the Great. You see, he's the ruler of this place, man. And at the end of speaking, it's obvious. Y'all prove them. You can go in proving it's Babylon the Great through articles, through news clippings. It ain't a mystery no more. The proof all up. Right. And 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 we really got to uh, understand it through the spirit, man. Right. Uh, real quick, brother, give me Ephesians uh, chapter 3. And start at verse 3 to prove that. It's, it, look, hey, it's through the spirit, man, that the heavenly father revealed these things unto his men. All right, start with uh, possibly that is going down, man. And guess what that teach also, you know what I'm saying, talking about this, man. Go ahead, brother. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 3. Right? How that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote before a few words. Right? Whereby, when you read, he may understand by knowledge in the mystery of our son. Go ahead. Which in other ages were not made known unto the sons of men. Right. These mysteries in, 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 in other ages were not made known to the sons of men. Because if you go watch these documentaries about who is Babylon the Great, you'll see these that these ancient cultures, where I say the um ancient Europe, all right, the medieval times, they drew, you know, dragons on the wall and you know say 666 six, six on people's head. They thought they thought that uh, uh, Antiochus was uh, no 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 uh, not uh, Antiochus uh, one of them Caesars man they thought that he was a, uh, the beast all right that's a mob yes bro that's a bunch of madness man it was revealed run to them hey, we have one again bro Which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men. Right? As, as it is now revealed unto the holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. By the Spirit, man. So it is through the Spirit that we understand what this Bible is talking about, man. We know that America is bound on the great through the Spirit. Which you people don't have, man. Right. All right. This is why you don't get what we're saying. All right? Uh, the, a majority of you, okay? That's why you can't understand us, man. Because we're speaking by the Spirit, man. And guess what? The Holy Spirit was given to everybody. Real quick, give me a jar, brother. John 15, start at verse, uh, start at verse 14. And you know what's cool? Like, John was shy when he asked Peter them, who y'all think I am? Right. Peter said, you, you the anointed the Son of the Most High. Uh -huh. And Yahweh Shai said, flesh and blood have not revealed yeah. it unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. Right. right. The same thing. The, the Spirit, like the brothers was going into, the Most High revealed it by men he set up. Those pastors and uh, apostles, and they revealed it unto us, man. But we received it through the Spirit. This is John 15. What's verse? It's like a 14 and 15. Good. This is there. John 14 and 15. Go ahead. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Right. And I will pray the Father, and He shall give you another comfort. Another comforter, man. The Holy Spirit. All right. Which another word for the Holy Spirit is the angels, man. All right. Also, this book right here, these 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 words, man, are comforting. Go ahead, brother. It says, I will pray the Father that he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, right? Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, right? The word right here is talking about Israel, okay? That's what it's talking about, man. All of Israel can receive it, man. Even though Jacob searched, you know what I'm saying, uh, um, Jacob searching for the truth. Right, all of Israel lives. But it wasn't given unto all Israel, man. Go ahead, brother. It says, because it seeth him not, neither know him, 
but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Right, and shall be in us, man. That that spirit is in the elect, all right? It has always been with the elect since the foundation of the world, man. All right, so we don't know what's 17 to 9, brother. It's Revelation 17. Revelation 17 and 5. Uh -huh. And upon her head was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. America Ooh. is the mother of harlots and the abominations of the, the earth. earth. Man. Out of all the kingdoms and the planet earth right now, they have nothing on the wickedness of America, man. Right. Even though they're wicked as well. But this whole right here. Wicked. She got the wickedness of all wickedness, man. Yeah, the place has got abominations. Singular, plural. The plural. God. The of the earth, man. A filthy kingdom, man. Right. And you people take part in her abominations, man. Go to verse 2, brother. Yeah, verse 2, it says, With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, right? All the nations have committed fornication with America, man. Whether it be through money, or whether it be through a democracy, or religion, right? Whatever it is, they have taken part with her. Go ahead, brother. It says, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. The inhabitants of the earth, man, the people of the world, have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication, her philosophy, her doctrine, man, her Christianity, all right? They have been polluted by it, man, and especially two-thirds of Israel, man. You niggas are gone, all right? The internet has to be the worst thing to happen to our people, man. Because now the whole world can truly see Jacob for who they is, man. These niggas are lost. I mean, our, our women, our children are all messed up, man. Living in poor neighborhoods. They gonna live his house dirty, man. Clothes everywhere. Pissy clothes, man. Dirty kitchen, roaches, rats. Okay? There's you niggas out there, man. But you still don't lie too much. You this, you that, right? You twerking. Right? Black woman smoking a cigarette, twerking at the same time. What the hell is wrong with you, man? You look crazy, all right? What? But yet, they're going to turn around and say, God got me, Jesus got me. No, you don't. Right. No, the hell, look, hey, well. Jesus, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yo, what's up? Hold on. Ain't that the niggas today, but. Yeah. That are white boy. Hey, he got you, okay? See, they got their own God in Jesus, man. You made up one. Right. Because you, because you damn sure ain't talking about the uh, 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 Lord of the Bible, man. All right, I'll Lord you how a shall mush you out. Real fact, give me a second. Um, Corinthians eleven and three, brother. Three and four. Second Corinthians eleven, uh, verse three and four. Because y'all talking about another Lord, man. All right, well, look, that Jesus that y'all talking about, we don't know that nigga, man, and he don't exist. Go ahead, brother. Second Corinthians eleven and three. But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve, right, through her, through his subtility, subtility. So I'm sorry. Second Corinthians 11 and 3. But I, but I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtility, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in my shiat. Right, man? And Paul is trying to warn the believers not to be beguiled by these other philosophies and doctrines, man. What you have Jake out here teaching all kind of madness, man. All right, the new thing now is that the manna that Israel ate in the wilderness was magic mushrooms, man, shrooms. Damn, bro. And, and this nigga said that that's the secret to the children of Israel getting spiritual power. That's fucked up. That's the secret for us to take down a white man is to eat some damn mushroom, man. Are you kidding me? But, but, but he got hella views on that. People saying Shalom Khan, brother. That's deep. Uh, what the hell is wrong with Jake, man? You guys are literally bugging out in these last days, man. That's not something that you want to follow, dog. Because <laughs> the most I gonna get that fellow, all right? He gonna get got, man. All right, you got a point, brother? Now, I just want to say, like, like you said, he said that's our power. So that's, that's our power. So that's where we get the. That's why everything was revealed to us, to us from. Come on, man. Got a lot of jakes that reach and grab trying to get deep and they 
they ain't grabbing shit. Uh, uh, trying to get too deep and making this thing harder than what it really is. This truth is simple. That's what Paul said. Right. The simplicity of y'all breaking down. So you're going to go over to that, why? Because you're more comfortable. You know, you don't have to change. Right. So that's why you're going to receive that more than you have a shot. You know? Right. A black woman get, bap get uh, baptized, she really showed herself then. Right. See, she was, she, she, she was a whore when she was, you know what I'm saying? She was okay as a whore. But she went and got baptized. Now she can get on it. Oh, thing. man. <laughs> oh, man. She wired up because now, you know, I'm back. She's a damn whore. Yeah, she thing. good. Yeah. She, hey, I thought that before. When I got baptized at like 89 years old. God. You know, they told me, you just come on get baptized, baby, and you ain't over nothing else. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm like, shit, look, look, I'm going to heaven. I'm right. part of what I do in my life, Jesus got me because I got baptized. Right. That's my mindset. Yeah. But we know now that there was a bunch of BS, man. That was a damn sacrifice to Molech. Right. Damn. To another God, man. Go ahead, bro. It says, for me that come to preach to Jesus, we have not preached, right? Another gospel, another gospel, man. That gospel that Christianity is talking about is not of the scriptures, man. All nations cannot be saved. Our Lord Yahweh Shah didn't come and die for all people, man. Our Lord Yahweh Shah is not a so-called white man. Alright? That's all garbage, man. Go ahead, brother. Or another gospel which you have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. Right, man. You people are lost, okay? The most high not dealing with two thirds, man. No matter how much you niggas put a big emotional paragraph on Facebook, man. The Lord is not dealing with you. 
Because if the most I was dealing with you, you'll be trying to hear this gospel, man. But the most I'm not hearing y'all. Oh, give me that uh, Isaiah 59 one. You got some? Yeah, yeah, read that, brother. Isaiah 59 1. Right? Behold, the Lord's hand is not short. That he could not save. Right. Our Lord had him not short, man, that he can't save our people. All right? Children of Israel. Go ahead, brother. His ear heavy. That he cannot hear. Yeah, the most high. He ain't heavy. He ain't but he got no damn headphones on. He can hear us, man. Okay. But why is the Lord hearing two thirds? Go ahead, brother. But your iniquities have separated between you and your power. Right. Our sins, man. Separated us between us and our God. All right. At one point in time, us in the faith, man. The most high was not dealing with us, though, because we broke that first covenant. Go ahead, brother. And your sins have hid his face from you, right? That he was not here. So the Lord ain't trying to hear you niggas, man. Because y'all don't want to get right, man. Two thirds don't want to get right. They love this kingdom, man. They can't wait till America open back up. So they can truly go out to the clubs and these uh, women come out naked. Bro, wicked is going to increase after this quarantine. If it's, oh, yeah. it's so-called, yep. stop and open back up. Oh man. Yeah, that's it for the kids. Right. Wickedness is going to be when niggas going to have face masks on. Right. <laughs> so everybody going to be around wondering who was under that mask. <laughs> yes, bro. Hey, it's going to get crazy, man. Damn. But we pray it don't never get back normal, man. Right. God. We pray it don't, man, because you niggas ain't right, man. Okay? You ain't right, dog. Now, brother, go to uh, Isaiah 1 for me on that. Uh, I'll start at verse 3. Isaiah 1. Uh, verse 3. It says, the ox doing his own, uh -huh. and the ass is past his will. Right? But Israel who would not consider. But Israel who would not know, my people who would not consider. Yeah, man. He said, the ox doing his own, and the ass is past his will. But Israel who would not know, my people don't consider. They don't even consider you. How about you now, Shot, man? Got some of our people do believe in a God, right? They have a zeal, right. but they don't have no understanding, man. Because they see these Jake in the world and serving their God and Jesus and hope to prosper in the world, man. They they are serving the most high and his son in hopes to be delivered, man. And hope that and hope that a man will be destroyed, man. They praying unto their gods that this place come back a bigger and better, man. What the hell is wrong with you niggas, man? Y'all praying that the so-called white man kingdom continues, man. That what y'all doing, dog? Here it is, y'all losing at the bottom, okay? Right. Your children are destroyed. The household destroyed. Your parents are destroyed, man. And you still asking the most high to please get rid of this coronavirus. I want to go back to work. I want to go to the club. I want to do some, do that. Please, Jesus, heal us. What the hell is wrong with you niggas, man? I mean, like, I saw that, bro, and I was just baffled for like a couple of seconds. Like, what the hell is wrong with you, bro? Are you, are you kidding me, dog? But see, that's the same two-third niggas that was in the wilderness telling Moses, look, Moses, we want to go back to Egypt. And, and look, if you don't take us, we're going to make us a captain, and we're going back into slavery, man, because we want the melon and cucumbers right in that fish, right, the my onions. Jake wanted to go back to that, dog. After all the most I did for us, Jake wanted to go right back into that captivity, man. Shows you that Jake got Stockholm Central. Okay? Keep on reading there, brother. Isaiah. Like I said, they stay up for the one that's going. Right. Niggas yeah. are lost, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go get your pizza. We got a pizza. Go ahead. Isaiah 30 and 1. Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. And they're covered with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Right. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Right. right, you said, woe to the rebellious children, man. You're talking about uh, so-called Negroes, Latino, Native American. You know, y'all see counseling after uh, uh, Esau, man. Right. Your adversary, man. Right. All these different gods and idols, man. You know? Uh, it says, verse 2, that want to go down into Egypt, and have not asked in my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. So y'all still have trust in Esau's system, man. All right? It's modern day Egypt, man. See? 
still want the society to uh, back open again so you can continue to uh, you know, continue on the weekend. Right. 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 So, you know what, brother? Go to verse 8 for doing my thing. All right, Isaiah 30 and 8. Now go, write it before them in the table, and go to the book. And it may be for the time to come, right? Forever and ever. And this is a rebellious people. Right, that, that, that this is a rebellious people, man. This Bible is showing us that Jacob's wicked, man. That Jacob's rebellious, and we actually seen it. All right, we, we, we actually experiencing the wickedness of our people, man. Go ahead, brother. Come on, says, uh, children that will not hear the law of your house. Right, they don't want to hear this law, man. They don't want to hear, I can't eat pork chops. Right. I can't eat shrimp, right? I can't uh, go and uh, commit adultery, which, which is a big thing amongst our people, man. They take pleasure in having sex with the next man or woman, right? That's, that's some kind of honor amongst our people, man, which actually, that's a disgrace, man. Which say to the seers, see not. Right. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Yeah. Speak unto us fool things. Go ahead. Prophesy the secrets. That's Jacob, man. They don't want to hear what we're talking about. They don't want to hear us saying, look, repent. Because how is shot coming back? Get your life together, man. Stop doing all those wickedness and abominations, man. Okay, America about to be destroyed. They don't want to hear that. They said they want to hear lies. They want to hear, brother. Just keep on going to college. Right. You know, you wait, you know, so little while you're going to possibly get a million dollars. Right? You're going to uh, have that big old house with the picket fence. Right? Uh, you're going to have a woman of your dreams. Just keep on serving God and Jesus, brother. Jake want to hear that, man. What? This, this, this ain't living, bro. And while they said that way back in the 70s, man, he, he said this ain't living. Go listen to, look, go listen to Marvin Gaye's song, Mercy, Mercy Me. Uh, I, yeah, I think it's called Mercy, Mercy Me, I believe. Or, 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 or something to that effect, man. Which, yeah, or what's the word? Yeah, well, yeah, the whole uh, album, what's going on? You listen to the whole album. I tell you, it go hard. But, but he was talking about Mercury and the fish back in the 70s, man. So it was already jacked up back then. He, he, he was singing about the hell and the earth, bro, in the 70s, dog. How much more today? So why would you want to be here, bro? But see, Jake is bored of understanding, man. Jake is bored of wisdom. Don't know no better, man. Go ahead, brother. Uh -huh. Get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from the world. Right, Jake said, look, man, I want to hear that Bible shit, bro. I'm trying to get this money, man. Right. I don't want to hear nothing about no God, bro. Look, look, man, I'm trying to get this money, dog. I got kids to feed. Okay. You can have enough word for a minute, man. Right. The most I will get you, nigga. You still don't get God, man. But you don't want to hear the most high, right? But that's but that's big mindset. It's a rebel against the most high and to piss them off, man. So you got a judgment for them. And it's called death, man. Okay? So now go to Romans 1, brother. It's Romans 1 and 16. Yep. It says, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Mashiach, for it is, it is in the power of the Most High unto salvation to everyone that believes. Yeah, man, don't be ashamed. Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Yahweh shot, man. For it is the power of the Most High unto salvation to everyone that believes. So don't be ashamed of the gospel, man. To hell with these people, all right? To hell with the thoughts and, and um, imaginations of your family against you, man, or your girl against you. 
I'll write to hell with that thoughts, man. My mama talk, talk shit to me. I, I was all the time about coming out here, bro. Right. I was almost every time she see me, she say, oh, where you going? To, or going down to that coat. She remind me every week, okay? Where you going to that coat? I thought it's going to be downtown now. But to her, it's all funny games, man. But I don't care what they say about me. Or, or she anybody. I, I, I'm doing this and hope to obtain everlasting life, man. Right. Like that brother you see. Go, go ahead, bro. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's, um... Psalms 119 and 116, because also there are people, they looking at us. Uh, 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 like we crazy or foolish, which we may fools to how we're trying to say. But the thing that they think is shameful, actually, that's your salvation. Man. In Psalms 119 and 116, it says, Uphold me according unto thy word that I may live, and let me not be ashamed of my hope. So we're not ashamed of our hope, man. You see? Hey, in that day when, when all the things we believe, like it said in 1 Peter, when it says, um, uh, 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 1 Peter 1 and 7, it says that the trial of your faith and what's faith is faith the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So we believe in things that's not seen. Right. It says, being much more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire. Right, it sounds stupid. You know, our faith gonna be tested, but this is the point. Might be found unto praise, honor, and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah Masha. It sounds stupid now. It looks stupid now the things you believe in. But when Yahweh Shah come, everything come to pass, everybody, okay, I see why they believed in it. We're gonna be glad we believed in the unbelievable. When it didn't happen, man. Right. You see? So, no, I'm sorry, it's 23, yeah. That's it on that? That's it. Right. Now, I'll read what you got, bro. Real fast. First yeah. Corinthians 1 and 23. Right. But we preach the how was shot crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block. Right. And unto the Greeks foolishness. But unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks. The Holy Shah, the power of the Most High, and the wisdom of the Most High. Right, go ahead. Because the foolishness of the Most High is wiser than men, uh -huh. and the weak, weakness of the Most High is stronger than men. Right, because the brother uh, made the point that we are fools from the Holy Shah said. But the scripture say what? The foolishness of the Most High is wiser than men. So even though we look foolish, this right. is wiser than what the world is doing. Right. They're going to they die, man. Okay, the heavenly father will judge them, man. But as for us, we pray to be saved, man. This is wiser than what man is doing. This is stronger than what man is doing, man. Because we're standing on faith, man, which is displeasing to the most high. All right, so I'll go back to the Romans, brother. Right, and if I may say this, uh, uh, everything that the uh, men of the most high is doing or saying is going to come to pass. Right. It's been coming to pass. Prophecy has been fulfilled, okay? And, and, and that's showing the, the, the strength in this in this thing, in this truth. Right. You know, and they even and, uh, now more so than before. Now this shit is popping off, springing off the uh, prophecies is springing off the pages. Okay. Uh, people are seeing that. Okay, maybe them guys ain't so got ain't so foolish. Right. <laughs> Stupid. Maybe they know something. Right. You see. Because that's that's showing the strength of this. It ain't us. It's the Most High bringing prophecies to uh, pass. You see? Yeah, yeah man. And, and guess what? Look, can nobody else do what we do, man? By going through these scriptures and truly breaking it down, man. All right, you got these so-called truthers out here. You know, they, you know, they know a few things. But to understand what's truly going on, you got to know what this book talking about, man. And we know what it's talking about through the Holy Spirit, man. And we can break it down and line up everything that's going on in the world through the Holy Bible, man. Right. Line by line, player. Chapter by chapter, we can go through it, man. And this is why we have confidence, man. This is why we out here on the highways and byways, showing our faith, man. Yeah, the scriptures say, uh, how shall they preach? It said, that's a wrong right. chapter, chapter, I believe, like a wrong okay. Forget the verse. 14. 14. Right. How should they preach except they be sent? Right. The word preach means uh, prophet or to prophesy. 
But they are in peace, right? Because we found this truth, man. You see, uh, and Yahusha is the Prince of Peace, man. Right. So it says, for for though they be uh, punished in the sight of man, right? Yet is their hope full of immortality. immortality. Right. Our, our hope is full of immortality, right. man. Don't don't be punished in the sight of men, right? Catching hell, going through things, taking hell and losses. But that's okay, brother. That's all right, because anything that we so-called lose, man, you go through, bro, man, look, when we get immortality, brother, trust me, that fucking bitch that did you wrong will not cross your mind. Some job you lost will not cross your mind once we get everlasting life, dog. Trust me, dog. It's promised in the scriptures, man, that all them, them, them all thoughts and all that gonna be wiped away, man. So endure it, man. That's all right. That's why I don't trip them a little. Hey, at one point, I was tripping, bro. But now, through faith, through trials and tribulations, right through taking counsel, reading the scriptures, man, praying, anything that seems that's troublesome to me, that I know that I ain't got to deal with, boom, I ain't got to deal with it. That shit to the side, dog. This is why I'm hoping right here, man. This is what I'm All right, sir, how about you now, shot, man? That's what's more important to me. You know that I do have words in this hell, okay? What's more important, man? Isaiah uh, 65 and 17. But behold, I create new heavens and a new earth. And the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. Right. Right. To my, uh, this current world. This current rulership. That's a heaven and earth that he's talking about that won't come into mind, man. Because this is going to be wiped away. Right. Right. Uh, uh, Peter talking about it being uh, burnt up with the elements thereof. He said, uh, he said, he said, uh, the earth and also the works that are therein shall be burned up, man. So this stuff won't come into remembrance, all right? Our way of is coming to refresh the earth, man. He's coming to bring new life, man. A new way to the earth, man. Because it's clear that this world that we're living in is, 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 is garbage, okay? Right. This kingdom is garbage. The people that inhabit this kingdom have a garbage mindset, man. Smoking cigarettes, eating pork chops, sagging their pants. Homosexual got tattoos everywhere, man. So in weave. Look at crazy, bro. But to date, that's life. Man. To date, that's this end I'll be all life is to achieve something in the so-called white man kingdom, man. Right? The uh, NFL, NFL right? Jake right. crying like a hoe. Holding his mama, holding his daddy, holding his me mom, right? Crying because the white man said, Look, I'm bringing it to my team. Nigga. Right, we made it, right. You made it. Right, everybody told my bro, Grandpa, bro, you made it, bro. Right? Looking crazy, man. Right. That's temporary, dog. God. What we're fighting for and hopes to attain is everlasting life, man. 
Did y'all play football, what, for five to ten years? At the most, about eight years? <laughs> right, they get right. caught. Two <laughs> that, years. Right. One year, yep. That's nothing, dog. And then y'all leave the NFL all broke up. Right, you got, you got uh, uh, CTE. Uh, CTE, all, all, all type Four. of mental problems, all type of financial problems, man. Concussions. Right, concussions. Right. That movie, uh, what was that movie? Oh, concussions. Right. Yeah, it was all yeah. It was all about showing how that all that years and years of that uh, head, the uh, helmet to helmet, and contact and all that shit. They come out of that thing with concussions. A lot of them don't even know they got it. Right. Uh, yeah, and then when they brought out the information, the doctor that brought out the information, uh, he saw was uh, similar death threats. He uh, was trying to snatch up his uh, practice, uh, his license and shit. He was trying to say shit. He basically was specific to him what the results of what's happening from this going to be in the field, but he ain't going to like him. Yeah, he's going to be in the field, but he ain't going to like him. <laughs> right. Yeah, he is. Oh, let me go For therein is the righteousness of the Most High revealed. Right in the gospel, man. Therein in the gospel is the righteousness of the Father revealed, man. Go ahead, brother. It says, For therein is the righteousness of the Most High revealed from faith to faith, right? As it is written, the just shall live by faith. And the just shall live by faith, man. And what you're seeing is, is, is faith, bro. This, this is a result of faith, man. Right, us brothers out here on the highways and the byways. Go ahead, brother. For the wrath of the Most High is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and the righteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. And we have a lot of Israelite men who are holding the truth in unrighteousness, man. Polluting the gospel. Saying the mark of the beast is a white woman. It's an embargo. Saying that, yeah, oh, yeah, it's a gun. Saying the saying the canoe is an Edomite, saying that he just can't be saved. That's not a little gospel, man. Y'all making that up, bro. You're adding to the word. So the wrath of the heavenly father is upon you, Plim. And you better repent because y'all can't say, oh, I didn't know you a damn lie. The apostle and elder bring up the truth every day, every day, bro. Every day. Got hella breakdowns, man. And we got shit on. Look, we're doing the work too. And we're gonna break the scriptures down as well, man. Because we learned from them. So, and nobody got no cloak for their sins, dog. You teach some other wise than, than, than what's written in the truth, man. All right, the uh, understanding given, the most high got wrath prepared for you, man. Go ahead, brother. It says, because the witch 
because that which may be known of the Most High is manifest in them, for the Most High have showed it unto them. Right, unto all Israel, uh, one point, right? Because a reincarnation exists, man. At one time, Israel knew the ways of the Most High, all right? We all knew it. Go ahead, brother. It says, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, right? Being understood by the things that are made. Yeah, man. Look at creation, bro. And you see the power of the Most High, man. You, look, bro, you, look, you cannot explain creation without a creator, bro. What is the so-called white man trying to do that through evolution, by the way? He a damn fool, man. The Most High made this, dog. It's, 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 it's plain and clear when you look at it, dog. But you got to have faith, though. Who the hell built that building right there? Did it, did it evolve by itself through mud? Hell no. Right. Men put that together, man. Obviously. Go ahead, brother. It says, even his eternal power in Godhead, right? so that they are without excuse. Right. Nobody has an excuse, man, to believe in the Most High. Okay? If you don't believe, right, King David said, you're a fool, man. Right. You're a fool, all right? But see, David, I can do what he's all about you, man. Their wickedness, man. And they have to find a man to move on to that. Go ahead, brother. It says, because that when they knew the most high, they glorified him not as the most high. Right. So he says, when they knew the most high, they didn't glorify him as the most high. Who are this talking about? You may want to one, brother. Let's see who knew the most high. Let's see if he's talking about all nations. Because Christians think that Romans chapter 1 talking about actual Gentiles, man. But he's talking about Israelites, man. But they'll be referred to as Greeks, as Gentiles. But let's see who wants to do the most high. Read what you got, brother. Amos 3 and 1. Right, go ahead. Give this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. O children of Israel, right. Against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Say, keep going. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you all your iniquities. So Israel is the only nation that was known by the Most High. And how was that? Because he made a covenant with us, bro. All right. So read that Romans again, brother. Romans 1 and 21. Because that when they knew the Most High, they glorified him not as the Most High. Right? Talking about two-thirds of Israel, man. They didn't glorify him as the Most High, but what happened, brother? Neither were thankful, right? But became vain in their imagination. Right? Niggas start bugging out. They start serving the light. Go ahead, brother. And their foolish heart was dark. Right, their mind was darkened by the Most High because they departed from Him. Go ahead. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Right, they started talking about Egyptology. The black woman is God. The chakras. The kundalini. The homo sapien sapien. Right, uh, it, right. The Bosnian way. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, man. That's some black unconscious Negroes, man. And you niggas in the world who went to science and all this other madness, you became a fool, man. Because through them uh, philosophies, you, you deny the most high, man. You right. live an abominable lifestyle. Go ahead, brother. It says, and change the glory of the uncorruptible power into an image made like to corruptible man, right? And to birds and to four-footed beasts and creeping things. So they changed their changed gods, man. They started worshiping the creation and idols and these abominations, man. Jeremiah been spoke about it. Give me Jeremiah 2 and 11, brother. Well, uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, 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 I started not. Jake, Jake, Jake changed gods, man. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. You know what? We we uh we we verse uh you know what? Start at verse three, brother, and then and then read read three, four, and uh, five, and then go to nine. Jeremiah two and three, right? <clears throat> Israel was holy this unto the Most High, right? And that was through His law, right. right? Go ahead. And the first fruits of His increase, right? All that devour Him 
shall offend. Evil shall come upon them. Right. Save your hope. Right. Everybody that devoured Israel, you offend the most high. And that's all nations, man. So guess what? Judgment coming upon the heathens, man, for touching us. Go ahead, brother. Hear you the word of the most high, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Right. All of Israel. Go ahead. Thus saith your hope. What did they be have your father's mouth? have our people found in the most high to make them turn their back on the most high man as if something wrong with the most high I know, I know. God, I know. God God wants you to do too much all these laws and stuff right I saw a nigga post a, um, a comment right somebody asked him wow well, somebody asked a question they said are there are there any former Hebrew Israelites and explain why you left they said I was one and the reason that I left was because I, I, I had to take too many notes. So don't make him not be an Israelite because he had to take too many notes. Right? He had to study and learn. So he said, nah, nah. <laughs> he turned it back on the Most High, man. But the Most High talking about Israel as a whole, man. Okay? They turned to the Most High, man. Go ahead, brother. And I may say yeah, something yeah. real quick. The Most High, because uh, the word iniquity is, is sin. Right. right. And the most high didn't break no, no, uh, his end of the bargain. Israel broke, broke day end of the, of, the, of the contract. Right. See, the most high of hell is always upheld his end. Right. Tell you, and then who's that in, uh, in uh, Jeremiah the fifth chapter, five and seven? He said, When I had fed them to the full, right. gave the nation everything. What iniquity have your fathers found in me that they are gone far from me? Uh huh. And have walked after vanity. And have to walk after vanity, man. And I become vain. And I become vain. That's Jake, man. All right, now go to verse 9, brother. Verse 9. Wherefore, I will yet plead with you, with you said with the Lord, and with your children's children will I plead. Uh huh. For pass over the isles of Shittim. Children uh -huh. and see and said unto Kedar and consider diligently and see if there be such a thing. Have the nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? Right. These heathen nations ain't got no gods, man. Right. You know, you know they talk about them and they <laughs> sacrifice to them and have candle fucking lights and all this stuff. Hell yeah, God don't exist. Go ahead, brother. But my people have changed their glory. For that which do it not prop. They change gods, man. So read the Romans again, brother. It's Romans 1 and 23. And change the glory of the uncorruptible power into an image made like to corruptible man. Right, so this is what Paul talked about. <laughs> he was talking about what Jeremiah talking about, man. This is where I changed on the most high. Go ahead, brother. It says into an image made like to corruptible man uh -huh. and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things, right? Wherefore the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness, right? Through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. So the Most High gave Israel over unto uncleanness, man. Why? Because they turned on him. Give me, give me songs, brother. 81. And I think they have right? I hate a bro. Psalms 81 and I'll uh, start at verse 8 and I'll read on down. Psalms 81, verse 8. Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee. Right, unto Israel, go ahead. O Israel, if thou wilt hearken unto me, right, there shall no strange God be in thee. Neither shall thou worship any strange God. Right, the most I told Israel, don't worship no strange God. Be right. Okay, go ahead, brother. I am Jehovah, thou folk, which brought thee. Out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. open thy mouth wide, and I will feel it. Right, go ahead. But my people would not hearken to my voice. But Jake would not listen to the prophets. 
your dad a voice of the most high, man. They were not listening to the prophets back then. They don't want to listen right now, bro. It's still stiffening. Go ahead, brother. And Israel would none of you, right? So I gave them up to their own hearts' love. So the most high gave these niggas over. Right. To their wickedness, man. Because they forsook him. So he said, to hell with you, okay. Y'all turn your back on me. I turn my back on you, man. That's why our children being shot in the streets. The household destroyed once again. I, I keep on saying that, bro. Our women are single, right? The men are bugged out, gang bangers, murderers, thieves, man. They, they, they have been forsaken by the most high, man. Children being hit by straight bucks, man. Being aborted, being starved, man. Growing up in houses just totally destroyed, dog. Man, the most I did a number on Jake, man. All right. So, so read that back in um, uh, Romans, man. Read that verse again. Romans 1 and 24. Right, just showing the proof that Paul is talking about Israelites, but he ain't talking about nobody else, Christian. Go ahead, brother. Wherefore the most high also gave them up to uncleanness. Right, the, right. The most high, yeah. How it did this to Jake, man? Go ahead, brother. Through the lust of their own hearts. Right. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Go ahead. Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie. Right. Jake had the truth. Israel as a whole, man. The Most High gave Israel the truth at first, man. But Jake changed the truth into a lie. What lie? Go ahead, brother. Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the Creator. Right. Who is blessed forever to all. Right, Jake started serving other gods, man. Started serving a black woman. She God now. Giving her all the praise and glory. She's Mother Earth, she all this. Listen to the other glory from the Most High and gave it unto her. And that's why she at the bottom right now. Right. With her, with her OnlyFans page and her Snapchat premium page. Loose, okay? Selling herself for nothing. But she God, right? She's struggling. Begging the so-called white man for money. Go ahead, brother. For this cause, the Most High gave them up the two bottles of flesh. So, because they forsook the Most High, for this cause, the cause was they rebelled against the Most High. The Most High gave two-thirds unto vile affections. Go ahead, brother. For well, even their women then changed the natural use into that which is against nature. So our women became lesbians. You see them? Right with their black lips, dreadlocked with the blonde tips. Piercing. Right, right the piercings everywhere. Talking about what they'll do to your girl. Right. Yeah. And, and, and pride, bro. The most high did that to them girls, man. Did it to these, to these, to these wannabe niggas, man. Okay? Going to get their titties cut off. Getting a testosterone shots, growing beard. Now, a woman had a beard, bro. A whole beard. Man, the Heavenly Father did a number on our women, man. But the reason why is because they forsook him. This is the answer right here, player. We, we, we give you an answer to why our so called black communities and Hispanic communities are out of order, man. Because they forsook the most high, dog. And so he touched. Go ahead, brother. It says. And likewise also the men. Right, the Israelite men. Leaving the natural use of the woman. What's the natural use of the woman? It's to procreate. Right. To have children. Right, to bring forth life. So they forsook that way. Go ahead, brother. Burned in their lust, one towards another, men with men. Right, so instead of a nigga named Dave, I'm not going to say Dave, I'm going to say a nigga named Damon. Right here, yeah. instead of Damon talking to Jessica, Damon went with Jamal now. He and Jamal inbox trying to get him, burning in his lust, but like he want him so bad. He even cheating on his wife with Jamal. That's judgment, dog, from the Most High, man. You do not play with the Most High power, man. Okay? I got a cousin, man, who said he he said he knew he was gay, so he would live. So, so he came in bugged out, man. I, 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 I been to our girl, okay. And, and the most I'm gonna get your ass too, man. Cause you ain't right, okay. Hey, hey, look, hey, I had a cousin that died about two years ago, Pains, man. A gay cousin. 
people were proud. He was a majorette, all right, leading the band, twirling the damn twirling and shit good on his body. Now he's in the spiritual realm, in his right mind, man. What the hell is wrong with you niggas, man? Two men should be up on each other, man. That's not right, okay? But amongst our communities, they don't say nothing, man. Now you have some jakes who don't like it, but right. most of our people, men and the women, they with it, man. He can, he can feel how he want to feel. Okay. Go ahead, brother. Yes, I had yeah. two people. Uh, one of them grew up, it was a boy and a girl. They probably like two years old. Now the girl, now she taking pills. Now she got the beard. Her voice got deep from the pills, you know? Now the boy, he turned into a girl. So they the whole switch. Bro, right. you know what I mean? Now the son is the daughter, and the daughter is the son now, man. Right. Yeah, man. Fucked up. Jake, bro, Jake got a sex change, man. Remove his piece. Turn that piece into a vagina, dog. That is crazy. All right? But the so-called white man has the technology, has the medicine, and all that to change your niggas into a woman, man. That's judging from the most high, dog. Bro, the most high would never let any that man go through that, bro. Do that shit? Hell no. That's just too far, man. That's too far, bro. Now, to have men in the strip club at the time of the Apostle Paul who were gay. That was gay back then. Because that was the spirit of the Roman Empire, man. The damn Greeks and the Romans were the so-called white man. That spirit that was back then is back now, bro. Of ancient Solomon and Gomorrah, man, being facts, bro. But America took it to a whole other level, dog. In June, supposed to have a gay parade. I pray, I pray that won't happen, man. I pray these coronavirus go all through the year right. and cancel everything, man. Right. Damn abomination, dog. Go ahead, brother. It says, and likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lust one towards another, right? Men with men. Working that which is unseen. Unseen, man. It's not appropriate, bro. It ain't right for two men to be together, dog. Two beards, muscles. Come on, bro. It's crazy even talking about that, man. Right. It, it, it's, it, it's, it's crazy to try to imagine it, bro. That's not right, well. Go ahead, on. Huh? It says, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their root, of their slacking. Like and receiving in themselves uh -huh. that recompense of their error, which was me. Right, which the most high judged them, man. These homosexuals got all type of diseases, man. But the so-called white man tell them to put a condom on. Just put a condom on, it'll be okay. Bro, you still gonna die, bro. You, 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 you have on two condoms, man. You have the father gonna get you, man. Right. All right, playing with all these toys and stuff. All right, going to uh, Adam and Eve. I'll give you some toys. The stores around here, dog. Man, the most gonna get Jake for that, dog. Cause those are his sons and daughters, man. Even though that he denounced them, right. okay. But he's still gonna get them, man. Go ahead, brother. Right, the yeah. saying, be, might be able to escape the judgment of man. But man can do way. Well, you, if you do that, if it's okay with man, but you still not gonna escape the judgment of the most high, right? You know. It, it, say, go ahead, it says, and even as they did not. Like to retain the most high in their knowledge. Right, Jake didn't like to retain the heavenly father in their knowledge, man. Jake didn't want to keep following the ways of the most high. Jake didn't want to retain his knowledge, bro. So because of that, what happened, brother? It says the most high gave them over to a reprobate mind. So because of that, the most high gave Jake over to a reprobate mind, a mind that is void of judgment. Or what judgment? These judgments in the scriptures, man. Because Jake is okay with a homosexual and a lesbian and pork chop and all kind of abominations, man. They don't get it, bro. Black woman on TV to my uh, gay rights and you know, you know, uh, our community to step up for the uh, LGBT for our blacks, arguing and shit with people, bro. Abominations, man. That's a rapper big mind, all right. Anybody with any kind of sense should know not to have sex with the same gender, man. The most I didn't tell Adam to do that. And he didn't tell Eve to be no damn lesbian, man. <laughs> Imagine that, bro. Adam tell Eve, no, nah, no, nah, I don't want you. Eve tell Adam, no, nah, I don't want you. I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw old girl over there. Uh, uh, I'm gonna get with her. Hell no, man. Right. Life don't come like that, bro. So you know it's wrong, man. Go ahead, brother. Well, I said be fruitful and 
Go to the cloud, right? You can't, dog. That is so easy. But Jay still, you know, do it, man. Go ahead, brother. It says, and the Most High gave them over to a reprobate mind uh -huh. to do those things which are not convenient. Do those things which are not convenient, man. Our uh, women all on Instagram live twerking, but naked, bro, looking on each other on Instagram. I mean, I mean, it's a terrible thing to look at, dog. All them damn tattoos on their body, got a dragon on her booty. Yes. Like, there's so much wickedness, dog. That uh, that uh, woman, that a uh, Britney woman. Oh, bro, yeah. oh my gosh, bro. Britannia. Yeah, Britannia. I don't know why she's alive. Like, I don't know if she's still living. That's a damn demon, man. And yeah. she married, bro. Yeah, she, she married. married. Yeah, she married. What, what chillers? She got chillers. She married. She she on Instagram Live. And, and all over the world. She got a, a hundred million tattoos on her body, man. She looked dirty as hell. But she been hyped up. Like she's something. But that's the energy of America, man. It's to uplift these whores. Cardi B them. Go ahead, brother. It says, be filled with all unrighteousness. Right. Jack is being filled, is, is uh, filled with all unrighteousness, man. Meaning they, they're totally against his Bible, their lifestyle, okay? All unrighteousness, man. Paul is bringing down black culture to you in Romans, the first chapter, if you got any kind of sense. So called black Hispanic culture is being broken down right here. He's telling what's going on in our communities, man. Go ahead, brother. Hispanic's too nice. Yeah. Right, because she know the king. Right, right. Native. Oh, man. But, hey, you know what? Right. Yeah, man, because, hey, I work with Instacart, bro. And with being around him, you know what I'm saying, for a couple years, bro, it's, look, it ain't no difference, dog. Right. They talk about the same wickedness they talk about, man. Yeah. They ain't no lusting. Doing all kinds of abomination, you know what I'm saying? Uh, speaking that Spanish, right? Mm -hmm. I know what that means, nigga. Go ahead, brother. It says, being filled with all, all unrighteousness. All of them. Fornication, right? Wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, and whisper. Right? Whisper, man. Paul is describing a nigga to you, man. That's what he's describing here in this chapter. A goddamn nigga, man. Romans 1 and 29, being filled with all unrighteousness, uh -huh. fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of the most high. Right, they hate the most high, man. And they don't have to come out and say, I hate God, like the likes it. They do it through their actions. You don't have to come out and say, I don't like it, how about you, how about you? can deny him through what you do, nigga. Right, just like uh, love is a is an action word. Right. right. Same thing with hate. That's an action word. Right. I wish I said if you love me, keep my commitment. Keep my commitment. The so-called white man, he's shown hate. Yeah. <laughs> he said he action. loved Israel. Well, at a time in history like now, I'm all for you. I got your back. <laughs> but he's demonstrating hate. Right. You see? Yeah, man. Jake, hey, look, read, read that scripture again, bro. Let's start. 30. It says, Romans 1 and 30. Backbiters, right? Haters of the most high, despiteful, proud, boasters. Right, proud, man. Jake is proud, bro. Right? Jake is on Instagram with a few hundreds or some ones from the 20s. And I got this, I got that. Jake is a deal. Start talking about what kind of holes he got, you know, showing him the cars, got his land, his weed, right, a money phone. Talking about how he that nigga. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm that nigga. Look at my bitch. Okay. All right, nigga. But see, that's temporary glory, man. Which, which, which fan of glory, man? Okay? You be like a damn fool on Instagram, man. A damn fool, man. I would never want to do that shit. I'll be like you niggas, dog. Low level ass nigga, go ahead, bro. It says inventors of evil things. Right, inventors of evil things. That's in our so-called communities, man. They come up with all kind of wickedness, man. Whether it be through the food, game banging, whatever, man. They gonna come up with some wickedness, dog. I got a shrimp, pork chop, or relish sandwich. Right, shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a that's an evil invention, man. 
But the black woman can't have enough of that crab, but she love that crab. Oh yeah, that's she it. She love that lobster, man. Hey, hey. Crab. See? Bro, these women would look, bro. They would eat that shit all day. But look, I would look, hey, hey, I was with a girl one time. Right, I, hey, I was with this girl one time, bro. And we went out to breakfast, man. All right. The girl ordered breakfast, but she had some kind of shrimp egg fucking plate, bro. With a uh, pancakes, man. Shrimp and eggs is a pancake, bro. She ate all that shit, dog. Right. right. They <laughs> rich. <laughs> Pork chops. And I'm sitting there looking at her like, I just paid for this shit, bro. Damn. But I ain't, you know what I'm saying, like, 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 like you know what I'm saying, like, I ain't gonna sign out on her. I, I, I was just chilling, like, okay, ho, you go, you do what you do. But I'm about to go sign out on that ho, bro, but she pissed me off, bro. She didn't tell me what she bought. She, you know, she, the dude came, she said, I want the number of something. And like, I've been getting my million your like, I didn't know what she wanted. Like, okay, cool. Right. Man, I came up with some shrimp, like, bro, I'm like, bro, I, look, I, I, hey, I ain't bought that shit. Nah, I had that. <laughs> oh, I'm like, oh, hell no, nah, this whole crazy, bro. But she getting more breakfast out of me up that day. That was it, please. Right. I'm not spending my money on you hoes like that. Go ahead, bro. Right. Oh, oh. Nigga, raccoon possum meat. Yeah. yeah. Scripture say broth are abominable things. Right. A broth. Snakes. A broth. Snakes, dog. Alligators. What the hell is wrong with Jake, man? But do you want to know why you need the world and all diseases, man? Go ahead, bro. It says, yeah, bro. in Venice of evil things, right? <laughs> They, they come up with shit, but it be Jake, bro. Evil things, man. Just go, just look, if you, look, if you truly sit down, get some gay yarn, go on social media and just look at Jake, bro. And you these scripts will pop in your mouth like, yeah, God damn. Bro, the most high is on point talking about our people, man. Right. Go ahead, bro. It said, this before they even, you know, right, them niggas, <laughs> it says, without understanding. Right, Jake is without understanding, man. Have you heard nigga logic? Listen to a nigga talk, man. He made no sense. Especially when you try to break the scripture down, man. Jake said, we ain't got to keep the command. We got to do this. We got to do that. Jesus, you know, said, do this and do that. That's all they got to do. Then. Listen to what Jesus said, and that's it. They got to keep no laws, no nothing. They just do what they want to do. That's a nigga mindset, man. Go ahead, brother. Without natural affection. Without natural affection, man. Naturally, you, you must love your children. They protect their children. Black woman abort her child. Kill her child. Right? They teach your son how to be a nigga, man. Cook cocaine, all that wickedness, man. Be game bangers. That's not natural affection. That's, that's without natural affection, man. They have no love amongst each other, bro. Right? When they come dealing with each other, man. No affection toward their brother or sister, man. They hate each other. They, 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 look, they, they beef on, on, on the goddamn uh, social media all day. To my way, he'll do to a nigga. He never said what he'll do to the so called white man. Right. He never said to any other nation. But I'll kill my brother, though. I'll fuck a nigga. I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm a man. I'm a kill this hoe. That's all Drake said, bro. Listen to these songs, right? Like NBA Young Boy. But he retarded. I'm like, I don't know this is why I, I, he can talk. That nigga retarded, man. Right. But he's been here in high steam amongst our people, man. As a role model. This retarded ass nigga, man. Go ahead, brother. It says covenant breakers, right? right? Inplaceable. Right, covenant breakers. They can't keep no covenant. Not with the most high, not with anybody else, man. A, a, nigga, would, a, a nigga would turn his back on you in a minute, man. Been in the world with Jake. You gotta make a so called agreement. Nigga change on you. Can't, can't even bet a nigga $20 in the bag. You beat him. Oh, nah, man. I got a man. Yeah, bro. I, uh, I ain't got my wallet today. Nigga, why you bet me for then? I'm gonna pay you tomorrow. They gonna pay me to the end of the year, dog. You wanna punch me, you know? But it is so small, bro. Go ahead, brother. It says, inflacable, unmerciful, implacable. It's like, in, implacable, Go ahead. unmerciful, right, unmerciful, man. We're supposed to have mercy as Israelites, man, because that's the spirit of our Lord. Right. All right? He says, be therefore merciful as your Father, which in heaven is merciful, man. But I ain't no mercy amongst our people, man. Look at Chicago. Right. Look at Louisiana. All these so-called top, uh, 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 yeah, 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 a uh, murder capital, man. California, man. Okay. I know mercy wants some niggas, dog. These bloods and crips. They have no mercy. Go ahead, brother. 
who knowing the judgment of the Most High, that they which commit such things are worthy of death. Right to the Most High said they know it. Two thirds of them doing wickedness, dog. They know it. They Israelites, man. They know that it's wrong. You think a faggot don't know the way he's doing it wrong? He know it's wrong. A faggot, but every time them faggots pass by the camp, they gonna be talking, doing whatever. They come out of the camp with their head high, <laughs> trying to uh, sashay and shit. They know it's wrong, and they know what we talking about is against how they are, man. Right. So, so they come through here and cry, bro, because they know it's wrong. Right, trying to convince himself right, that it's okay. okay. It's all right. Every day he gotta remind himself that he's like, I'm a faggot. I'm, yeah. Gave them over to it. So they can't fight against it, man. Go ahead, brother. 
By nature, uh, that is wrong to look at another man or woman. Right. right. You know, and want her for himself. And that same man that had commit that adultery would be mad as hell ready to right. kill if you pop right. his old lady. You see, I can let me bring, I got a quick precept real quick. Uh, this is Romans chapter 2, verse uh, 14. It says, For when the Gentiles which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, these having not the law, are a law unto themselves. Meaning that, uh, if we, even though we don't know, when we didn't know we were Israelites, and the Israelites that still don't know that they're Israelites, uh, we know by nature right from, certain things right from wrong. Right. Okay? Like, we know not to sleep with another man more. See? We know. If you look at a, uh, the, the observe, if you were to observe, especially from the country, observe a, a pig, you would know how I'm not supposed to eat that. Right. You know? Just to give it a couple examples, you know? <laughs> yeah, man. Because, hey, look, you have a, look, you have a faggot. He's a full blown faggot, but he won't eat no pork chop. Nah, pork, nah. Uh, this ain't now, girl. Which, uh, it's a uh, pork ain't good for you, girl. But he's a full blown faggot, man. But he no pork chop, bro. He all messed up inside, man. Okay, and that's what all Jake. But Jake, Jake know when stuff not right, man. They, they know it, Clem. So, so this one, so this one, the most I got to judge. You know. What about you uh, laying down with a woman on the? Uh... On yeah, cycle, right. right. Woo! You don't even, that ain't even a comfortable situation. Yeah, that shit is. Yeah. That shit ain't, you don't want to go in that, uh, in that stream of blood. Yeah, right. that's it. You know? Yeah, but Jake's still doing it. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Jake's still doing it, but see, but then, Jake will do this though. Jake will say, well, since I'm period, I'll just get some head. Right. That's wickedness, though. Yeah, but Jake told me, the older guy, he said, shit, it don't matter. That's crazy. Right, uh, That's crazy. Uh, That's crazy. Uh, so, for my people is foolish. <laughs> they have not known me. Right? That's they crazy. are sordid children. Right? Stupid children. Right. And they have none understanding. They ain't got no understanding. Go ahead, brother. They are wise to do evil. Right? Wise. Many, yeah. many, many, many of these things are, these these things are intellectually yeah. enlightened in wickedness, man. They, look, they know the ins and outs about it. Okay? Go ahead, brother. And they have no understanding, right? They are wise to do evil. But to do good, they have no love. Right. Can't get right. Niggas cannot do right, dog. It's hard for a nigga to do right, man. Now, he'll do right to get some box. But when it comes to serving the most high and doing what he say to do, he ain't, nope, he ain't gonna do it. Because it's contrary to his spirit right now, man. Go ahead, bro. Take uh, it out. Back in 1 Corinthians 6, and uh, verse 9, it says, Thou, it's like, you know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the most high, right? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, mm -hmm. nor effeminate. Nor effeminate. You can't be effeminate, thou. Right. That's, it's like, no, no, finish your point, I gotta say. No, I'm gonna say no. That, look, they're not, look, men, men are not effeminate, bro. Those are traits of women. Okay, so if you're a soft, effeminate guy, all right, like um, a Joel Lowstein, that nigga effeminate. Okay, he, he ain't no damn man. He ain't right, bro. Which, which uh, he ain't no Israelite. Okay, but he's just an example, man. Being all soft, bro, that's not of the look, look, right. look, that's not of the Most High, dog. We're men. Okay, go ahead, brother. I'll finish that out. The, the, the scripture. It says, no adulterers, no effeminate, no abusers of themselves with mankind. That's a fact. Yeah, real quick, and I was going to say, uh, yeah, ain't nobody going to enter into salvation that way. You got you to gotta turn from that. 
finish your uh, whatever you had, right now. Uh, okay, go. Yeah, uh, you're not gonna enter into the kingdom like that. Just like all of us, you know, and the most high, I say this, the most high got special spirits on the men that he woke up to this to the truth. Right. You know? Because, you know, I don't speak as a man, but we wasn't as deep off in the wickedness as uh, the rest of uh, the two thirds. Or the rest of sorry, just the rest of Jake. Okay? So Jake, Jake, no, uh, you might as well read that again. I it's 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Right. I had lost train a little bit. Salaki. So yeah. You're not going to enter in like that. We all had to turn from our uh, wicked way. Right. You see? And get down with the program of the Most High. And you can read spirits after you know, a little while from being in this truth. You can see a man that he may turn from his wickedness versus a cat that just ain't got a chance. Right. Now the most I can break a man like that up or a woman, you know, we, we have, but at the same time, we got to put it to our shit. Look through and look at a man or a woman's spirit. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. I'll go ahead. Yeah, it, says, it says, be not deceived, right. neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, no abusers of themselves of mankind. Right, right, there's a fact. Go ahead, brother. It says, nor these, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners uh -huh. shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Right, right, keep on reading. And you put that word, that revilers, is just a shit start. Right, right. Yeah. You got a lot of niggas like that in Israel. And it's like, it's called problems. Yeah. There is no problem, but you're going to make a problem out of nothing. Right. It says, and such were some of you. You see, you had men that were back in, back in Corinth who were effeminate, who was a faggot, who was in fornication, doing all kind of wickedness, man. But the Most High had mercy on them. Right through this on your house. I read it again, brother. It says, and such were some of you. Right, so a faggot can't repent, a lesbian can't repent. Okay, and, I, and not like they can't, you know. Go ahead, brother. But I have yet to see one. Right, that's a, that's a hard thing to see in, in this day and age. Right, well, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, I saw, well, well a so called lesbian. She said, she said that she was a lesbian. She changed her ways. Yeah, she might, but you better come and get down with the program. <laughs> you can't just change and stop being a punk right. and just be a nigga in the world. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> right, she's so called, you know, in, uh, in uh, Israel, you know, she's so it says, and such were some of you, right? When you are washed, when you are sanctified, right? When you are justified in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and by the Spirit of the Most High. This is the only right. how that we're able to make it, bro. We are justified through Yahweh Shai, our Lord, man. So if you're a homosexual or a lesbian or doing any kind of abominations, bro, you can be saved from that. You can be cleansed from your sins and wrongdoings, man. But you but you gotta repent, bro. You gotta change your life around, man. You, you gotta do some some uh, uh what is it, uh, uh mental renovation, man. Right. Because yeah. like, uh, no, no, no. yeah, because clearly what you're doing ain't right, man. And you doing not right, bro. When I was in the world doing that BS I was doing, I knew it wasn't right, bro. I knew it. Even before I did this shit, I knew that some of the shit I was doing. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, man. You know, but you did it, bro. Full of drugs and shit. Right. Yeah, yeah. You had to stay full of alcohol and drugs to try to cope with the shit. And then don't let bad happen to you. Yeah. And then immediately, like, get that scripture from the eyes of spirit, bro. Get it, 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 bro. Get you tell them, I'm good. I'm in the clear. Bring it out. This is Ecclesiastes 8, verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Girl, you must be not going. Yeah, man, and that's, that's the thing. Jake, go through all We're dealing with a faithless society, man. All right, man. Just think about that. That's why the most I set it up like that. Right. Because you don't put forth that judgment. It's 
fast as he used to, man. So the people can do just like what the brothers uh, uh, said, man. All right, they go do this wickedness, and then because they don't feel, see no judgment, and really a lot of times they don't recognize the judgment. All right, they might get judged, and they don't know that was a judgment from the Heavenly Father for what they was doing, man. So they think they got away with it, man. All right? And we speak of every spirit who's in the mind frame, man. All right, through the mercy of the Heavenly Father, he gave us the talk of the Holy Spirit, to get us out of that mind frame, man. All right? Say not, I have sinned, and what harm had happened unto me. <laughs> Read it again, brother. It says, Sirach 5, verse 4. It says, Say not, I have sinned, and what harm had happened unto me. Right, because we tell Jake not to eat the pork, not to do this, not to do the baggage, and all this. They're like, shit, I've been doing it. You know, ain't that happened to me. Why am I still alive? You know? They don't know it's the ultimate judgment coming. Right. They don't know it's about to be a series of drastic judgments, man. All right? right. Y'all worried about this situation going on right now. This is just, just the, uh, basically like you, you know, when you get a book and you say, you know what, let me go read the uh, read the little summary at the back of the shit. This is just uh, 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 really the, the intro, man. It's a lot good. That's what I meant to say. The intro to what the book is about to be about, man. All right? And that book is full of like, well, we'll get it in a second, man. All right, full of limitations of food, man. Well, I just, we just say the, the beginning of sorrow. Come, that's it. You know, come, that's it. Hey, I'm going to make a point. Go read that verse again. Buddy. This is Sirach 5 and verse 4. Say not, I have said, and what harm had happened unto me. For the Lord is long-suffering. Right, and Jake uh, make a statement like you had said, uh, Giving that example, they're eating pork and be like, well, shit, ain't shit happened to me, I ain't died. But not looking at the, all the judgment that they came against them. I heard. That's why we in these these uh, horrible conditions in the earth. Yeah. You know, all of shit, they, can't no Jake say that it came up and, and everything been smooth sailing. We now caught, caught hell. All kind of problems. Even if you, the Jakes that had a little money coming up, came up psychologically fucked up. You know? And witness all kind of shit. We didn't say every brother didn't seen shit. You ain't wouldn't you wouldn't tell another soul. I done done shit you ain't never, you ain't gonna tell another soul. You know? But you still feel guilty about it. Guilty about it. You know? So Jacob be having all these this shit happen to him and not realizing these little things that really some of them big things happening to you is because you being wicked. And you know uh, breaking the law, you know? Checking this out, that's just life, man. We're going through it. Now you're catching hell and your judgments because of what you're doing, man. He says, Say not, I have sinned, and what harm had happened unto me? Get you in captivity. Yeah. <laughs> you is captivity like a motherfucker and talking about, you know, ain't shit. I'm good. Yeah, your health is shitty. But then you the next day, shit, I'm catching, I'm going through it, my nigga. I get about to leave. You wonder why? <laughs> you know? Go ahead. It says, For the Lord is long suffering. He will in no wise let thee go. Hmm. Says, that's what we're dealing with right now, man. The Most High started to bring them judgments on the people man, of Israel, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, man. All right, we're in the time, we're in the beginning, uh, 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 we were approaching Jacob's trouble, man. All right, you see, they're trying to shift. It's COVID-19 and targeted to so-called African-Americans, man. So if they're the ones that's most likely prone to, uh, to, uh, to carry the, the, the virus, man. All right, setting the stage up to ride on Jake, man. All right, this is all coming from the heavenly father, getting ready to bring the ultimate judgment on you, man. Gave you a certain uh, uh, small uh, uh, judgments, all right, uh, uh, reserving you unto a great one, man. It says, concerning propitiation, be not without fear to add sin unto sin, and say not, his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. Yeah, you're not going to just uh, uh, put the most high, uh, 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 basically have him get into a state of compassion and mercy for the multitude of your sins, man. Right. All right? Just because you, uh, oh, yeah, I want the most high, I know uh, what it is. 
niggas always say, oh, the Lord know my heart. You're right, dude. He do know your mind, man. And it's desperately wicked, man. So we got Jeremiah 7 and uh, 17 and 9. Uh, uh, get that real quick, bro. Just like uh, the scripture said that, it said, say not his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. Like, I, I, most of my family members, man, like, most of them complaining to women. You know, they be like, he is a forgiving God. That's all they say. Right. You know, that's, 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 that's what they love to say. Yeah, you're constantly doing wickedness in the most high, just, bro, it's okay. It's going to be all right. But you're right. He, he, he is, he, he do forgive. Right, but you take, you try to take advantage of it, though. He don't, he don't forgive you just so you can keep doing it. And that's why the scripture say repent. Right, right. And the next verse, but it's plain. It says, lucky, but let the book bring this out. This uh, Jeremiah 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Yeah, who can the, know it? And the, 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 who, the who knows is the most high power, man. All right? For the word, England knows God, but his true name is Yahweh. He knows your mind. He knows your intentions. He's not going to let you get away with uh, what you're doing, man. All right. All right? Go ahead, brother. It says, and say not, his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him, and his indignation rested upon us. Yeah, so, and then that, that shows you right there, too. The most high is establishing, he's going to have mercy on some and wrath on others, man. All right, mercy upon his elect and wrath to the wicked of Israel, man. That's why the Spirit has said he will not let thee go, man. All right, he's not going to let you get away with all this shit, man. Especially after he has served the men of the Lord to God on the highways and byways and profess his law, statute, commandments, and all the things of righteous according to his word, man. So now you don't have no excuse, man. All right? Go ahead with uh, the Amos, brother. Uh, this is Amos 5, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Woe means uh, destruction, man. Death and destruction, man. Right. Unto you that claim you desire the day of the Lord. Because you the scripture is about to get into what the day of the Lord is, man. All right, even, and, and, and I want to pinpoint on uh, men and women of, uh, that know they Israelites, man. All right, because they claiming they want the kingdom of heaven. They claim they want this place to go around, all right? But they're not ready for what's going to happen, what has to come according to prophecy, man. All right? Go ahead, brother. To what end? And just real quick, before the brother read on, that's why they continue on doing their little secret wickedness, uh, 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 pushing BS doctors, getting into whatever it may be, man. All right, thinking that they're going uh, to get away because they still have trust in this system, man. They still have trust in the so-called white man. All right, they don't believe that uh, this place is really going down, man. All right, that's why they say, uh, do all them good old church, so-called church sayings and shit, man. All right, claiming that they're looking for the Lord to go, uh, return, man. All right, go ahead. To what end is it for you? And to what is is it to you, man? All right, when these judgments come, when these plagues come, when prophecy is fulfilled, man, all right, concerning the judgment of Babylon and the rest of the world, all right, what end is it going to be to you according to your works, man? Okay, go ahead. The day of Yahweh by Hashem Shai is darkness and not light. Yeah, because they think it's all going to be light. They think all of a sudden the Lord going to return and everything is just going to be hunky-dory, man. All right, everybody's going to get along. Everything is going to fall into place. All right, and then the uh, ones that know they Israel, they under that vibration of uh, 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 that ain't nothing bad going to happen, man. We just going to walk into the kingdom and all of a sudden we good now, man. No, that's not according to the scriptures, man. That's not according to prophecy, man. All right, all the words of this book will be fulfilled, man. And we see it happening, man. All right, people that was in that mind frame that was talking about the mark of the beast, they didn't shit, but we ain't got to worry about that. What you got to say now, man? All right, you see the stage is completely set for the mark of the beast to be uh, implemented, man. Okay? Go ahead. Verse 19, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. Yeah, because you think, man, that's the point right back to the scripture this brother read, man. You thinking the most high going to let you get away with this shit, man, judge no matter which stage you make it to, through, if you're not part of the elect, at some point you're going to get taken out by one of the judgments of the heavenly father, man. All right, go ahead. Or, or went into the house and the and lean it 
his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Yeah, you think you, you uh, make it through one thing, man. All right, now you think you good, man. All right, you get a little quick, a little fire, <sighs> and all of a sudden a serpent bites you, man. All right, all right and that's gonna come in the form of the judgment of the Heavenly Father, man. All right, which you don't wanna face, man. All right, that's why we fighting to be protected in those times, man. All right, all right? we fighting on the, uh, that the Most High have his covering over us when Jacob's trouble hit uh, 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 full fledged, man. All right, go ahead, brother. Done. Verse 20, shall not the day of your help by Shimei Oshai be darkness and not light? Yeah, it's going to be light for the elect. Right. All right, they're not saying it's going to be on easy street, man, but he's going to be preserving them to, uh, uh, until the end. And so it's time to be beamed up on the chariots, man. All right, but that's going to be according to your works, man. If you bullshit and play it around, it ain't going to go well with you at the end, man. All right, but if you stay firm, man, and truly, uh, like Paul said, man, all right, he fought the good fight of faith, man. Let me get that from the uh, we finish uh, read 20 again. Done. Amos 5, verse 20. Shall not the day of Yahweh by Shimei Oshai be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? <laughs> read that last line. No chance. It's not just going to be just a, little, a little hell brought upon this place, man. All right? The judgments of the Heavenly Father going to exceed anything that has happened on the face of the earth, man. All right? This is the, the big bang, man. All right, this is the big show that's coming, man. All right, this is the most highest grand finale, which is he going to descend center stage is going to be right here in America, man. All right? You already seeing people like, uh, this brother was going in too, man, throughout the week, the uh, the, the crime way shooting up, man. All right? These cops is not put, putting that for uh, uh, out doing what they used to do, man. All right, they in fear of the damn selves, man. But it's going to come a point to where they won't be no law, uh, uh, no uh, police out, period, man. All right, they gonna be in fear for their lives. They gonna have to go, man. Fuck this. I'm gonna go fear for my family, man. Think about just that, and that's a small level of what's coming, man. All right, just when the streets is getting chaotic, man. All right, you get into this devil's technology, man. All right, he's weapon technology, man. He saw us. He's thirsty, man. He's salivating, thinking about letting his weapons loose, man. All right, unleashing robots in the fucking streets, man. Having drones dropping bombs and shooting all type of uh, uh, artillery on these people, man. All right? This is all through the judgment of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? That's why the scripture said it's going to be very dark, man. There's no light in it, man. All right? The only ones that's going to see light is the ones that have faith, man. We're in a faithless society, man. All right, that's why when you see the things that's going on, man, that's why we don't worry about Jake ass, man. All right, we preaching unto the elect, man. Jake is going to get it, man. These wicked niggas that come up against the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, all right, thinking that they talking shit against us and the men, rest of the men that's out on, uh, on the highways and byways pushing this word, man. Y'all coming up against the Heavenly Father, man. Did you get that? This is 1 Timothy 6 and 12. He says, fight the good fight of faith. Oh, read that one more time, man, because that's the key ingredient, man. Go ahead. First Timothy 6, verse 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. And that's what we seek in eternal life, man. But you have to have faith in that, man. That's why Jake is so sold in the wickedness, because they don't believe in the promises of eternal life, man. All right, the condition that we've been brought down to under Esau, they feel like there's no other way. There's no way we can get out of this, man. Right. The only, only way is uh, faith. Because without faith, it, it definitely don't look like we're coming out of this situation in the earth. Like, if you didn't notice, uh, if the understanding of these scriptures wasn't, uh, uh, hadn't went out throughout the whole world, it wouldn't be, nobody would believe that the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American is gonna rule uh, the next, or uh, gonna be the next empire to rule forever. Yeah, and at the magnitude that we speaking. Right, right. Not just ruling like Esau ruled. This, you fucking elites, y'all ain't shit, man. Y'all little pipsqueaks, man. All right, yo, your little reign of terror is on low level compared to what the Most High have promised for us, man. All right, 
That's why I love that scene in uh, the movie Batman versus uh, uh, Superman, man. When Lex Luthor was uh, was giving his little speech, man, he was going through a monologue to a Superman, man. He was telling him, you don't deserve this power, man, because he knew he couldn't obtain it, man. He had all the riches, he had all the technology, but he couldn't get that spiritual power, man. All right? That's the mind of you at least, man. Bucking out because you cannot tap into the spiritual side, man. All right, you got all this technology, but that was only set so that you can get uh, uh, to the level of pride that you at, man. All right? So you can feel like, okay, I can actually pull this shit off, man. All right? I know, I know, uh, 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 uh you know, shot coming. All right? We, we, we gonna be able to take them down, man. We gonna be able to fight back, man. Look at these lasers we got, man. Look at this level of weapon technology we, uh, we have, man. All right, that was all for your own demise, man. Right, they can tap into the spiritual side, on the left hand, left -hand side, side. Right. and they use it through technology. You see, and and, and uh, sensationalism, and uh, control of the media, uh, media, putting play spell, putting spells on people. Right. You see, but to to to, to uh, really have control over life and death, they they don't have it. You know, Esau can't uh, uh, take. Uh, Kill you, then bring you, put the spirit back in your body. They can't keep themselves alive. Right. What was that? One of the Rockefellers that recently died? Uh, first man. Yeah, David Rockefeller. Had all the heart transplants, man. All right, trying to reserve yourself, man. Right. They don't have the power that we see, you know, that like in these movies, but uh, these superheroes. You know, that's the Esau movie. Only the closest he can get to that is uh his technology yeah you know creating a body suit creating some type of serum or something to hype up your body man like uh you think about captain america man what the fuck was he he didn't have no spiritual powers that was a lab experiment man all right you think they're not really doing that so they really out here trying to create these super soldiers man. that movie upgrade with the chip God, that was the whole movie man but the rest of the world, they see this level of technology. That's why they continue to stay under that spell that he saw, man. All right, but through the mercy of the Heavenly Father, he took that uh, uh, that spell off of us, man, to where we can uh, believe and see the truth, man. All right, so we don't uh, subscribe to the ways of the world because we trust in this, man. That's what drives us to fight, man. All right, fight against these wicked forces, man. Okay? Go ahead, brother. 1 Timothy 6 and 12, it says, Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on each other's life. Learn too, thou art also called and have professed a good profession. Hey, just real quick, man, because the fight, it starts with yourself, man. That's the battle, man. That's the main battle. It's fighting your flesh, man. All right? If you're going to fulfill the will of your flesh, are you going to fulfill Man. All right, that flesh is a motherfucker, man. All right, it's so easy to slip off into that dub, being that old nigga, man. All right, because it feels so good to you, man. All right, but when, you, when the spirit is dealing with you, that's that, that fulfilling the spirit is a whole nother fulfillment, man. All right, that's why when you uh, you feeling the, uh, uh, fulfilling the flesh, you got to stay on it. You got to keep doing it because it's an empty feeling. You, you're not doing nothing to your spirit, man. All right, your spirit is just drying up inside, man. All right, but when you get that spiritual nourishment, man, when you do the things pertaining unto righteousness, man, you get a true fulfillment, man. Right. All right, you get powered up inside, man. Right. All right, when you, man, when you finally sit down, man, you might have been struggling reading, man. When you finally be like, man, sit your ass still, man. Go sit down and read, man. You start reading, you in there getting hyped to the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, by yeah. yourself. Ain't nobody in there. You got some good class, meditation, music, home, whatever it is. You in there hype, man, souped up, man. Yeah. All right, all through the spirit. That's the power of the spirit, man. All right, and that strengthens you in that fight, man. All right, that gives you that power to keep, man, to keep fighting. So when you come across them certain hurdles again, man, you do your sky and open, man. You look like a Olympic hurdler in the spirit, man. All right, you know how Jake, you watch them, uh, them hundred meter hurdles, man. Jake beat me moving so fast when they go over that hurdle. It look like they just continuously running, man. Like right. they not even jumping, man. All right, that's what we fight to beat, man. Continue to grow in the spirit to combat against these demons, man. Okay. Yeah, and uh, when you feed the uh, when you feed the spirit, you feel good after that. 
when you feed the flesh, temporarily you feel good, but then you end up in a bad situation. Yeah. You know? You full of drugs, yeah, you feel good for the moment. Yeah. But the next day you gonna feel like shit. Yeah. And you have to kinda shake that shit off and let the day go on, and then you get you, you go back at it again. That second fix. You know? <laughs> yeah, that goddamn all them you you done ate uh, pork chops and and then mashed mash potatoes saturated with butter. Yeah, with bacon gravy. bits. You gotta put bacon in the bitch. <laughs> you know, uh, mashed potatoes. And that shit should taste good, but then you on the couch after that, swollen up, can't do nothing, and you wake up all groggy and your head feeling yeah. all crazy, jacked up. You at feel work sweating. Open it don't feel good. You know, that's a temporary thing. Hey, even doing things that's lawful, man. Say you wanna have, have you some drinks or whatever. You want to sip and smell y'all, get on some hard uh, look, whatever it is that, uh, of your liking for the night and right. shit. But you over, you, you overdo it, man. All right. So now you didn't turn it into unlawful because yeah. you got to do what's lawful in moderation. Because you know? yeah. gluttony is the sin. Yep, that's the key thing, moderation, man. This is all part of the, you got to think of every aspect of what your flesh wants you to do, man. All right. You could be in a situation where shit, you wanna, you'll purposely try to get as drunk as you can just to justify doing some stupid shit, man. To pump you up to yeah. wickedness. Yeah, because you know what you know, because you're not the, them spirits you're drinking, man. All right, why you think when you go to Specs, go to the liquor stores, what it say? Wine, beer, and spirits, man. All right, you put, you know, you over, you full of these damn spirits that tell you, fuck it, let's go do something. Catch yourself driving around the whole 16 loop. Doing shit in the middle of two o'clock in the morning, man. Searching for wickedness, man. It's, uh, Romans 8 and verse 6. It says, For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. That's simple, man. That's simple, man. The things that you want to do for the carnal sense, man, is going to lead unto death, man. It's not for both life, man. That's it, man. That's why the Most High gave us a perfect law that was supposed to govern us and keep us separate and holy from the rest of these nations, man. All right, when we stray from the laws, now you're getting into the ways of death, man. All right, the law is spiritual, man. All right, that's why the, the brothers through the spirit was going into bringing out the precepts, showing that man that law is in us, man. All right, yeah, we go, uh, 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 Jake go off, man, but that's embedded in them, man. Right. To where they know the, that's like, why I fuck with their conscience. Like, the, like certain laws, you know? uh, yeah, yeah. But the little, all the little details and particulars in the law, you know, we don't know all that if, until you read the, you know, read the law. You know, I got a. Uh, Got a quick precept, as you said that the law is uh, spiritual. This is Romans 7. Uh, it says, for, for we know that the law is spiritual, but I am born sold unto sin. This Paul speaking by himself. So, yeah, the law is spiritual. You know, right. and the church, you know, in the Christian church, they have you believe that the law is evil. <laughs> you know, right. you know? Right. but it ain't the law that's evil, we evil. You know, uh, bring that out one more time, Baba Kushan. Okay. Okay. Romans 7 and uh, 14, it says, Yeah, I, got, I can see. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am going to sold unto sin. All right, well, and that's why the scriptures call us the chains of darkness, man. This flesh is a prison, man. All right, sold under sin, man. All right, now you think Paul wouldn't say that for no reason, man? Shit, he was he was fighting, man. That's why he said I fought the good fight of faith, man. Right. You don't go. You gotta think about it. Paul was battling in the flesh too, man. All right, he missed off whatever he was uh, uh, slipped up and was going through, man. All the men of the Lord, they fought, man. All right, and the biggest battle is it's a mind of the uh, it's a battle of the mind. Good. That's why the brother read in uh, Romans eight with verses the eight. Six. It's talking about it. It's talking, it's talking about it. If you read above, it's in the flesh and in the spirit. But he's telling you it's all in the, it's all of, it's a war of the mind. 
For to be carnally minded is death, to be spiritually minded is uh, life. What the uh, paraphrase? Uh, bring that out, brother. It's uh, Hebrews 8 and verse uh, 7. Hebrews 8 and 7, it says, For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. Hey, what was the first covenant based around? The law, statute, us keeping the law, statutes, the commandments of the Heavenly Father, man, making an agreement with him, man. All right? Now, these people always keep talking, but we, it wasn't no mistake made, man. All right? The, well, the scripture is going to speak on it, man. I'm going to let the scripture say to us. Hebrews 8 and verse 8, it says, For finding fault with them. Who is them, man? When you go through the chapter, the whole chapter is letting you know it's talking about Israel. We need all the Latinos and Native Americans. That's who the first covenant was intended for, and that's who the second covenant is uh, intended for, man. All right? We the ones that was, uh, was given the law, man. All right? But because, because of the scripture the brother just read, man, we've been sold under sin. The fault is in us, man. All right? The law is perfect. I can tell you that, man. I'm That show you that this place is not gonna continue to go on, man. Right. All right, because it's completely uh, uh, set against the Most High's laws, man, which is perfect, man. So now you through the so-called white man's rulership, you created an imperfect uh, society, man. Okay, go ahead. Well, it's gonna tell you why the Most High created this perfect law, man. Go ahead. It says the, the law of Yahweh is perfect, converting the soul. Converting the soul, man. All right, that's how we. Uh, uh, for starting off with uh, with the faith, man, the Most High gave us the gift of faith, man, what caused us to believe that we was Israelites, man. All right, believe on the name, man. All right, and then we draw, uh, got to get into the understanding and, and start learning these laws, man. All right, and see, damn, okay, this is the right way to live, man. All right, he gave us everything we need in the law, man. Every single thing we need right. to, to govern ourselves in a righteous manner is in the law, man. All right. And that's another thing that you should, a uh, uh, part of this fight, man, because Jake want to get into certain things, man, all right? You want to read a certain, about certain accounts, get into the law, man. Read the law. Read numbers, man. Get into the chronicles. Get into the history, man. That builds you up, man. All right? I got a quick This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse, verse 5. It says, and if a man also strive for masteries, yet he is not crowned except he strive lawfully. And those masteries is talking about mastering these, these scriptures, mastering the understanding of the, of, the, of, the, of the Bible, these breakdowns. And we do that growing in this, in this, in this, uh, not with a lot of understanding, we got to do it lawfully. It's showing that, showing us that the law is not done away with. Uh, just real quick, I wanted to bring up, like, I was thinking of two examples, or really three, of laws that uh, Jake might not know about, man. Let this shit pass. Hey, we ain't got to worry about this shit in the kingdom, man. They don't be no damn trains making noise all night. Like, yeah. our, our, our aircrafts don't make no sound unless we choose to. Yeah, man, but I just wanted to speak on a, 
with some laws and like Jake might not know until you get into it, man, which, which is promoted amongst the uh, so-called black community, man. All right, having a damn menage a trois, man. All right, that's like a badge of honor to a nigga, man. Jake, how you ain't had you one, you ain't been with your, your and that's unlawful, man. All right, if you a thief, oh damn, I can have multiple women. No, you're not supposed to deal with them at the same time, man. All right, uh, sleeping with sisters, man. You're not supposed to do that, man. A mother and a daughter, man. All right, that's why it's, been, uh, it, 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 it's very beneficial and it's required, man, to get into the law, man. That's why the rest of these the, uh, Instagram Israelites and social media Israelites, they don't really get into it. They just grow a beard, they get into the dietary law, and then they think they good. Put some fringes on their shirt, and now I'm good to go, man. Nah, man. If you're serious and diligent about this thing, you're going to want to learn the ways of the, uh, that the Most High created to keep us clean and separate from these fucking heathens. Right. right. And now you don't want to bug yourself out on the law. Yeah. Because that's what, uh, that discrepancy that, that Paul was having with uh, those ones of the circumcision that was putting that pressure on the uh, Israelite foreigners that they got to keep the law uh, perfect. You know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, he was basically, at the end of the, uh, the council, I believe, yeah, at the end of the council that they had, they said basically keep these uh, certain laws, right? And then, you know, you grow from there. But you know, you, it's a bunch of laws. There ain't no way we gonna be able to yeah. really lock in and keep our, all the laws of the, of the scriptures, you know? So, we doing, we rehearsing the righteous acts. It's all about uh, rehearsing, you know? But yeah, we're supposed to keep the law to the best of our ability. You know? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, look, bro, the IUIC, bro, them guys put heavy burdens on people, man. They'll see, a, they'll see a lost nigga coming down the street and say, brother, where your friend is at? He don't know nothing about Israel. Yeah, he ain't never heard the word friend. Right, friend is Right. They see a woman, they say, sister, why you got no dress on? Where your friend is at, sister? Why you on the side? What the hell? She, she, she don't know nothing. But these guys act as if the law brought them into the truth, man. Right. No way. No way. It was faith in Yahweh Shai. It was belief that brought us in here, man, not uh, through the law. But now all of a sudden these guys are made perfect by the law and now they try to cast down everybody who ain't got fringes on, man. You know? Go ahead, bro. Romans 3 and 22, it says, even the righteousness of the Most High, which is by faith of Yahweh Shah right, so Real quick, what the scriptures tell you, man, even in our righteousness, we are as filthy rags, man. Right, right. So you, if you come across people who are perfect, you still uh, as a filthy rag, man. 
That's you real. That. You <laughs> foul ass body, and you talking about you love per keeping a lot perfect. You full of shit. You not keeping a lot. You is no way possible. The so-called white man have curated the society to where you can't keep the law perfect, man. Right, but, and then on top of that, the most high. Like Paul said, we sold under sin. Subject to sin. You see what I'm saying? Meaning you sold and you and you can't get from under the sin. You know, I tell you that, uh, that's a Romans 8 and 20. You know? The creature is subject to vanity, not willingly, yeah. but according to him that's subject to the same in hope. hope. <laughs> Hey, the scripture say the truth shall make you free. I got that Romans 8 too. Right, right. The truth and believe that who is the truth in the Yahweh shall make you free. Tell, like, tell us that in uh, what's that St. John the uh, 14th chapter. Starting up at the top of the chapter. Right. Yahweh shall have the truth in the way and in life. See? See? Go ahead and y'all move in. Romans yeah, 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In verse 22, it says, even the righteousness. The most high, which is by faith of the Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Alright. Unto all in a That's the spirit right there, man. That's not gonna get it. It's not gonna cut it, man. Jake is waking up, but shit, then they stop right there. It's like they get up and Jake did just, just using an analogy. What's the point? You get up, man. You really feel lazy, like a uh, uh, piece of shit. You get up in the morning, you don't brush your teeth, you don't wash your face, you don't stretch, you don't eat no breakfast. You just wake up, and then you just sitting around doing shit all day, watching TV. You go back to sleep. That's what Jake doing in the spirit. They just wake up and out the bed. Oh, shit, I'm up now. And then don't do shit for the rest of the day. You gonna say something? Go ahead, bro. Romans 3 and 22, it says, even the righteousness of the Most High, which is by faith of Yahweh Shahabashiyah, unto all and upon all them that believe. So, real quick, man, because that's the man, when we find out we got a savior, for us, that's like, shit, what I gotta do? Okay, what, what, what I got? I gotta come out here, I gotta take notes, I gotta do the work. What do I have to do to, 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 uh, to be a part of the salvation that my Lord is coming with, man. All right, that's what drove us, man. That's what drives us to this day, man. The men that still in this thing, man. The ones that fell out, they stopped believing in it, man. Go ahead. It says, Romans 3, 22. It says, unto all, the latter end, and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. Romans 10, verse 17. It says, So then faith coming by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High. Right, so that scripture tells you faith coming by hearing, and it tells you what you hear. You hear the word of the Most High. So you're hearing it from, if you read up, from the preacher, the prophet. See? There you got it. Y'all go to the chapter. Galatians 3 and 2 said, This only will I learn of you. Receive ye the Spirit by right, the right. works of the law, right, right. or by the hearing of faith. See, it's like, it's like the scripture I just read. I just read from the brother, but it's faith that brought us to this thing by hearing, by Yahweh Shah by hearing that we have a statement. Right. right? It wasn't about the law, because we've been hearing about laws our, our whole life. Right. No, but we heard about the, this truth, man, it was different. Uh -huh. Hey, that was the best well, day we I about the law of the Most High. Like, but even when we was in the like, wilderness, Israel, we were still going off with the right. law, you know? Right. Hey, that was the best day of your life, man. Our lives, man. When we heard this word, man, that took so much weight off of you, man. <laughs> Okay, then it made sense. Like, okay, I knew this shit couldn't be right. <laughs> this couldn't be it, man. Hey, I got. Oh, yeah, I got. Go ahead. Right, right, right. This is Colossians two and sixteen. 
Let no man therefore judge you in meat, or in drink, or in respect of an only day, or of the new moon, or of the Sabbath days, right, go ahead. which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Yahweh Shai. Right, so us keeping the laws to the best of our ability is just a shadow of what we going to do in the kingdom, which is keep the law uh, perfect. You see, so it's a it's an order to it. You you uh you hear the word and then activate the faith that was gifted on to us, and then uh, the, the faith is activated, which was gifted on to us, and then you start getting into keeping the laws and your growth in your faith. See? And that's really essentially what Paul was telling to or uh, expressing in that verse was. Newly coming into this faith, don't don't care, uh, don't burden yourself with keeping the law perfect or trying to you know be so tedious in the law. Okay, because we're gonna eventually we're gonna get it perfect in the kingdom. Go ahead, what you got? Right? Yeah, yeah, I got that. Okay, yeah. There's a uh, on this Acts 20, uh, 26 verse. Uh, I'm gonna start verse 16. But this was something that was uh, Yahweh Shai had spoke to uh, to Paul. But it was uh, like it, it, uh, Paul saw a light come from uh, heaven. Yep. So it wasn't uh, Yahweh Shai physically being there. It was uh, like uh, well, he was there, but it was the spirit. Okay, so it says, "But rise and stand up, thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for for this purpose to make thee a minister and a witness." Both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in the which I will uh, appear unto thee, and to the spirit. That's what we have. Uh, that that spiritually happens to all of us. Right. Like how the brother was saying, well, what can I do to obtain salvation? And when he found it, well, he started doing what you know what he's doing now. Right. And that's what Paul did in all of us. Woo. And that's what Paul. Did. Now, go ahead. That's what Paul, Paul did. Hey, my God, I grew up. hey, cause Paul, remember he was a Pharisee of the Pharisees. He knew the law. He was good with the law, but it didn't come into that through the Spirit with the side. That Spirit, you know, faith. It says verse seventeen, and and Paul was actually uh, against what Yahushua was preaching. Right. See, he was uh he was going uh I thought uh, to I believe it was Damascus to uh as a commandment. To, to fight against those persecute. that to yeah. persecute, to go out and to persecute those that believe or preach Yahweh Shut. Right. For salvation in Yahweh Shut. Deliver thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom now I sent thee. You see, so through the Spirit, that's what we're doing. Okay? To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto the Most High, right. that they may receive. Forgiveness of sins, because that's what Yahweh Shai came to do. Okay, it says, an inheritance amongst them which are sanctified by faith. Yeah. This is in me. Come. So it's through Yahweh Shai, man, which uh, I don't want to really hearken too much on. I, I, I see they don't teach Yahweh Shai, man. Right, right. What we teach is through faith. Now, yes, we, we give you law, statutes, and commandments because shit, they're not done away with, man. Yahweh Shai didn't do that, man. He didn't come to do away uh, with the law. He came to uh, fulfill. Man. Right. But what we are, what we mix that with is faith, man. That's right, that bro. Uh, okay. It's Romans to back down. Uh, so like if I mean faith in Yahweh Shai. This Romans eight and twenty. It says, "For the creature was made subject to vanity." What is the creed? That talking about something in the deep lagoon? <laughs> talking about the damn uh, 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 the, the Loch Ness monster? No, man. We are creatures, man. Right. All right. Go ahead. Romans eight and twenty. It says, "For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly." And what is vanity, man? Goes uh, uh, the, uh, the root word being vain, man. Empty, man. All right. The things that we get caught up into a flesh, like what's going into earlier through the spirit, is emptiness, man. All right, it don't you don't gain nothing uh, uh, that's gonna profit you in righteousness, man. All right. All right. Both may go in the weakness. Come. Let's see. Let's see. Romans eight and twenty. For the creature was made subject to vanity. The subject meaning under the rule, man. Right. 
okay? Sub, under, check, rule, man. We're under the rule of wickedness in this place, man. Okay? Ben and Ben and two calls, you can see. Mm -hmm. I got a quick precept to back uh, you up on that schedule, man. The preacher ain't talking about, you can see it. You know, some, some months at the bottom of the sea. That's the one, yeah, it's the months at the bottom of the sea. So, <laughs> Leviathan. It is not. It is, its purpose that's will not be vanity. But that's not uh, the right, preacher right, that right. they're talking about. Second uh, Corinthians five and seventeen. Therefore, if any man be in Mashiach, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Yeah. Romans eight and twenty. It says, for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by, by reason of I him. Thought, but I thought we got free will. Right, right. It said, not willingly, man. This is the most house program, man. All right? And this was us, man. We fell from glory, man. All right? Now we, we fighting to endure so we can, man, make it that first go around and get to be the first ones to taste glory, man. Right. All right? Hey, if you don't truly believe in the kingdom of heaven and that we about to see it, man, you're not going to make it, man. Right. All right? We, man, we, 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 we constantly envision and meditate on the kingdom of heaven, man. All right? And we about to finally see rest, man. All right? To really live, man. All right? I'm tired of walking on fucking concrete, man. Smelling mystery scents in the air. <laughs> I'm tired of punching odors in the air every damn day. <laughs> from the black woman's scalp of the sewage, man. Bro, it's eight and twenty. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope. The most I follow, man. All right? It says by reason of him, man. Jake, want to question the most high? Go ahead, man. All right? We know this is the way he said it, and we're going to stay in line, Lord willing, until the end, man. All right, and that's what it's about. Whoever the faithful is going to endure until the end, man. And they're going to show that they're faithful through their works, man. All right? So that's it, man. We're going to uh, end, wrap it up through the spirit, man. Uh, Lord willing, man, if he see it fit, we'll be out here next Friday, man. All right, but once again, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory. Let's see, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rechak, Wadash. We're going to give double honors to our apostles and elders who continue to rule well and guide us through the spirit, man. All right, peace and blessings unto the most high. Hopefully, we let. Shalom. Shalom.